Good morning to you, mon petit pois. Welcome to another cruise vlog. This morning we sailed into, don't mind me, like just finishing my face off whilst I start the vlog. Uh, multitasking mm, at its finest. Uh, this morning we sailed into Martinique. It is beautiful. I will show you out on the balcony in a moment. Um, and we're going to have uh, just a Louise and Liam day today. The group have gone off to do um, a different activity, but we've decided that we want to have a little look around Martinique, but we also want to experience some of the ship and show you some of its offerings. Mostly, I really want to have afternoon tea. Um, but also we'll just see what's going on and get involved with a few other things. Um, so I need to tell you, other than it's going to be a lovely day. I'm starting off cash, a t-shirt and shorts, uh, but I think we'll get a bit more dressed up later on. I love that. I love that the evenings, if you want to be dressy, you can just be as dressy as you like. Freaking love being dressy. Alrighty, I think that's probably a good enough intro to the vlog. Let's have a great day. So here's a little panoramic of the view from our balcony. Look at that. I'm excited to walk across that little walkway over there and go and explore. But first, we're gonna go and get some breakfast. Since I've just popped the loo and there's a big mirror, I thought I'd do a little OOTD for you. I've just got some shorts from Next. This is my old bag, I used to wear this every day for about three years, love this bag. And then this is from Taking Shape. Um, this was gifted, it's really, like it's a really nice long length t-shirt. Find t-shirts these days, they're always so short and I don't always want this bit out. Um, especially as these shorts are a bit big, so there's a lot of like going on there. Um, but yeah, I like it, it's nice quality. And then my trainers are from, um, sketches these are gifted but gifted from Liam so I don't know if you have to say if it's gifted from your loved one um, but yeah I like this a lot my ankle is playing up a bit this one um, so I thought trainers would be the best bet but yeah on the toilets lovely in here also look at this it's all touch free which is very nice so we are coming to the Meridian restaurant for breakfast which is all included in your cabin this is one of the main restaurants and over there is the windows to see the sea. And then this here is the menu. If you want to pause, if you're a menu person. Hello, here's the good stuff. Oh yeah, as usual, I've gone for beige and I'm thrilled about it. On our way to heading off the ship, we're going through the um, shopping area. I think it's closed whilst you're in port, but then when you're sailing, you can shop and they have a pre-loved designer area so you could get this Gucci tote here for just under £2,000 or these snazzy Gucci earrings are they like clip-ons? yeah clip-on earrings <laughs> that's fun I wonder how old they are I do like that bag though it's a bit it's a bit snazzy isn't it it's a bit like business power lady everywhere you go on the ship they have art and art installations this one's cute it's mirrored so they like looking up at themselves apologies for the stunning angle I'm here with Liam <laughs> gosh this is awful for us we're queuing up to get some euros because Martinique is a euros place and Liam just said say what you just said babe I said thank you for the lovely vlog this morning thank you for the lovely Instagram post but it was like a picture of us and I said how special he is I went I just did it for the engagement he laughed <laughs> <laughs> if you don't laugh it makes it look like I'm just really laughing, yeah, yeah. Okay. sometimes people ask me how much time you get at each um spit sure and they always have it on the board what time to get on so we arrived in this morning super early um, so you get like a full day, it changes. Yesterday I think it was half five, but they make it really clear. They have it like all over the ship for you. So you scan your little card to get off and then you are off the ship. So there's the ship behind us. And then we're gonna walk along this colorful road. Look how nice that all looks over there, it's so colorful. <laughs> If you've been following me a really long time, you will know about how much I love feeding. I really appreciate all the effort. 
outfit and work that's gone into these. We should get the girls one of these, a little bracelet or something. Do you think they would like that, babe? Yeah, they would. So that's where we just were, buying some little knickknacks. And there's Avia. And then this is where people are taking smaller boats for day trips. And then this is Liam. And then we're going to head over here and have a look around the town area. Here we go. This is the little town here. We're hoping to find a little table in this really lovely sort of square area. I have ordered a fresh guava juice, which I've never had before. <laughs> so to get back on the ship, you just do your card like this. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, we're back on board now. We've come to the Amber Lounge. Here he is, living his best life. I think I'm going to get a mocha lada, which is a non-alcoholic drink. But you can read that, that looks nice. I really like the lighting they have in here. It's so like, magic-y, relaxy vibes. Here's my drink just here. And then Liam's drink here. We just um, FaceTimed the girls and we showed them their bracelets. And oh, we miss them, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't lie. Sitting in the nice air con in these lovely surroundings with a mocktail does take the edge off a little bit. Sorry girls, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm only joking. Sort of. <laughs> Just off the side of the main atrium, they have um, these water dispensers. And what I just noticed here is it says bottle saved there. Hang on, let me get a better shot. I really want it to tick over with bottle saved. Yes, it did. It did. I was really pleased, but I don't know why it's pleased me so much, but it has. We've come to Sixth Street Diner. We don't have a reservation, so we're just hopeful they can squeeze us in. And we've got a great table. I'm excited for this. This is the menu, if you want to have a little look at it. As per, I've gone for my sweet, sweet nectar. I've gone for macaroni and cheese, and we've got some onion rings to share as well. Right, the <laughs> afternoon hasn't panned out as we anticipated, so I'm going to explain all that to you in a minute, but I just want to... I've got a friend round digitally. One second. <laughs> Here she is. Who's that beautiful facial icon? Hazel, say hello. <laughs> hello. What photo of me have you got? It was lovely. You're sort of doing a little wry smile with your chin down, a bit like, oh, hello, oh, hello. Louise, you're, descri you're describing every single photograph of me that exists. <laughs> anyway, that was a lovely portion of the video. Hello to you, Hazel. <laughs> I'm just doing my makeup. Hello to you. <laughs> So, I'm ready for the evening, but let me give you a little update on the afternoon. I'm just going to come over here, careful, careful, stepping over a little coffee table to show you the sunset just there. Is that picking up the camera? Why not? Let's see if I can fit. Oh, look. There it is. How beautiful is that? I'll talk to you whilst the sun sets. So, today we thought we would do afternoon tea and then we discovered that wasn't actually available today and so we were like oh as you will have seen in the vlogs we were like oh that's okay we'll go to the cinema and then we came back to the room knowing that we had like an hour until the cinema film started and we sat down like sat up on the beds on our phones just having some like phone scroll time and i was like catching up my social media I just fell asleep and then Liam woke me up to like, do you want to go to the cinema? And I was like, I really am just so tired. Um, so I slept and then I felt so guilty because I was like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be showing everybody like all the things that you can do on this like beautiful ship. And I've wasted two hours sleeping. And then I thought, oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that sun by the way? And then I thought, actually, this is what you do on holiday. And I'm showing you what a holiday would be like if you booked to come on here. And it's okay to have a little snooze. That's all right. I just felt weirdly guilty because I'm not really a daytime snoozer. Uh, but I think the jet lag and all the activities have caught up with me a bit. So, yeah, I had a little snooze. And now I feel so refreshed and so excited for tonight. This sun, I can't get over how beautiful it is. This is so much better than me just talking to you with my face, isn't it? Um, so tonight we're going to go to Green & Co, which is a... Um, 
sushi and also plant-based restaurant so we're going to go there with the group this is my dress for this evening i bought this from oasis in the christmas sales and it's like that like organza fabric it's really nice really lightweight really floaty all swishy at the bottom sandals are primani and then this bag is from accessorize actually to put some stuff in it but yeah this is my look for this evening let's go We've come to Anderson's bar and we're going to sit by the fire. Which feels like a weird thing to do in the Caribbean, isn't it? Sit by the fire. I don't think it's like a heat fire. Oh, look, it's like lit up smoke kind of a thing. Oh, that is a good chair. That is nice. That is wide and firm to just how I like it in a chair. Cheers to you, gorgeous. Cheers. Just walking through for um, dinner at Green & Co. And they've got some live music going on. Although she's literally just stopped as I've started filming, but there you go, live music. Look how handsome Liam looks. Look at this handsome man. Oh, I love it in here so much. Right, we're going up. These menus are fab, I love the gold. Thank you so much. So we've just sat down for a lovely meal. It's all plant-based or sushi. I think I did already tell you that, but just get a little feel for the vibe. It's very pretty. So we ordered Tostidas, didn't we? So this is Atta and I, my new soulmate. We've discovered that we are similar in every way, like soul sisters. And then that's a beetroot jobby. And we've got some sweet potato things and some arancini things and a Liam. Wow, thank you so much. And the pressure as well of people filming you. You did a great job. Alright. Thank you so much. Look at all this beautiful food. I've gone for the aubergine um, vegan one and then we've also got some sushi over here. What have you gone for, Ate? I have gone for cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower oh that looks nice i've got food envy now so this is the espresso creme caramel dessert with candied pecans and i think banana as well a lovely dinner with the group and now it's about 10 o'clock and we're just having a very gentle walk on the promenade and it's like the perfect temperature i'd say it's like 23 probably that's my guess what's your guess? not that we can check but uh 15. no it's not 15. 15 is like 16 is cardigan weather and this is shorts and t-shirt weather easily okay um it doesn't really matter does it, it can't matter, check anyway. yeah. trust me it's warm um and we were just saying that this is something we couldn't do on iona which is the ship that's pinot ship which is just like this ship i think it's are they called sister ships yeah it wasn't the ship it was the location though, yeah we couldn't it? do it yeah because it was norway so it was cold by this summer night but this is just like that lovely like no holiday evening air. That's a thing, isn't it, surely? Yeah. Evening holiday air, that's what this is. So we're just having a little walk on the decks. We're kicking off in the atrium tonight. We're just walking down because we are gonna go to the shops, which are on deck seven. Um, I think, well, I know, I can tell. We've got some entertainment going on. So now that we are at sea, the shops are open to have a little moochie moochie. I think we're coming just as they're packing up, so excuse the sound of the hoover in the background. She's a bit nice, isn't she? Hello. It all just feels so luxe. Again, ignore the hoover. They are just clearing up. It's the end of the night, but doesn't it just look so beautiful? Good morning to you. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life. God, that's old school, isn't it? And I'm feeling good. I really am feeling good today. To be quite careful though, because I've not done my swimming costume up. When I do the straps up on this, it kind of hurts the back of my neck because like everything is pulling it down. So I'll just hold it for now. Um, we have uh, sailed into a port in St. Lucia. I'm, I'm like 93.5% sure it's St. Lucia. If I'm wrong, I'll tell you when I work it out. Um, and we're going on a group excursion today with all the press people that are here. And it's a speedboat. And we're going to see the sights. I think we're going to get off and have a little mooch. I think there's going to be swimming. And now that I'm like 
a brave sea swimmer. I've got my swimming costume on ready because last time, this is boring stuff you don't need to know, but last time I took it and then had to get changed in this like little tiny cubicle toilet thing and it was really difficult. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go ready. I'm one of these people now that wears denim shorts, white, can you see? Yes, you can. I can't fully see the screen because I've got a little microphone thing on, but I'm wearing white shorts. Who even am I? I would have never have worn white shorts before. But what I've learned about being bigger, being plus size, it doesn't matter what I wear, I'm never going to look like a size 10. Nothing I wear is going to make me look vastly slimmer than I am. Like, unless I'm wearing the invisibility cloak, I just am going to look who I am. So rather than constantly buying and wearing and styling clothes with a view, with a goal to make myself look smaller, like to do like trickery with it, why not just buy clothes and make myself look like the best plus size person out there? So rather than disguising this bit, this is a bit that I always feel a bit uncomfortable about, rather than disguising my tummy, why not just like, not embrace feels like too simplified. I'm not embracing, I'm like, yeah, everyone look at this, I'm making a feature of it. But just be like, yeah, it's there, but I'm wearing beautiful shorts and I've got beautiful print here. And like, just not constantly try and hide and disguise, just be like, it's there. But that's okay because we're looking good with it, you know? Does that make any sense? This bag has been like my trusty go-to bag. I bought it on Amazon and it all folds up into this one pocket and you can just have a little pouch just to chuck in your case. But it also expands and you can put it on your carry case like so. And it's got a little zippy there. It's got loads of little zippy pockets inside and poppers and all sorts. It's just a really good bag. I'm just conscious that I'm flapping in the wind here um yeah i've woken up feeling really good i'm really looking forward to this trip um i wouldn't have looked forward to it until i had done that going in the sea the other day and so i don't know it was very liberating to like do something i wouldn't normally have done and enjoy it so i'm looking forward to enjoying that again and then tonight tonight's the night we're gonna make it happen we're going for dinner and we're gonna go and we're gonna see a show because we haven't done any of the onboard entertainment yet and there's loads of like shows and singers and entertainment and i think someone even said there was karaoke there's loads going on but we've just not done any of the evening stuff oh i can hear liam is ready so we're gonna go get some breakfast now it's about half eight i think we're gonna go up to the big buffet for breakfast which we've not done yet because we've gone to the keys and we've gone to the main restaurant we did do the big buffet, we did it on the first day. We're going to do it again. Let's go. Find yourself a man that will carry both beach bags for you whilst wearing a Love Island inspired cord. I like this one. This In the one. Caribbean. Well, when else are you going to wear something as exotic. S exotic as this? Yeah, exactly. So we are off the ship. And look, there's a little um, train thing there. That's fun. I like that. Look at him, he looks so good. He looks so happy. <laughs> so there's the ship and then this is a little kind of shopping portal. You get all sorts of bits and pieces. This is fun. In other words everyone, welcome to paradise. Okay? Uh, We're on a speed boat, which is speeding. Here is the view. The word Anslare, it means Bay of the Stingray or the Bay of Rays. Oh. The village has a population of approximately 5,000 and villagers depend primarily on a bit of fishing, agriculture and little tourism for survival. So we've just paused. So we have this is fantastic, isn't it? It's so good. This is so good. Loving it. That's the rest of our group and they've just overtaken us. I think we might be having a bit of a race. 
We're overtaking them now. Look how high up the top of their boat is. Either by feet, by boat, or by donkey. So again, the village of Canaries. Thank you. This looks idyllic, but oh my goodness, my feet are burning. I want to get in that. Don't mind me, literally in paradise. I was just saying to Ate, like, I'm so overwhelmed by how beautiful this place is. It's like, I feel like I'm in a film. Look at it. That's one pit on. That's the other pit on. It's just bloody lovely. I've swapped over now to phone in the waterproof bag, so if you can see a difference in quality, that's what it is. But we're going to go over here and we're going to go and get in that. Beautiful, beautiful. That was so smooth. Oh, oh, wee, wee. Is it Liam or is it a dolphin? Hang on. <laughs> I'm in the sea, I'm in the sea, babe. I know. Yes. It's completely yeah, dropped off over shop. here. What, deep? Yeah. You've got to yeah. Work well, then I'll be staying. But I can't touch the floor here. No. You can see it. No. Oh yeah, it no. just, it just, it's yeah. like a. It's a wave. <laughs> We're in between two, the two pitons in the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> well, where's. I'm going to take you underwater to see if there's anything worth seeing. No, I'm taking it anyway, don't worry. There's talk of there being a jellyfish in the sea, so I have vacated the sea. I don't think it's a thing. Hee hee hee. We had a lovely time. We're getting back onto our boat now. So we are now on the other side of the piton. So we were swimming on the other side of that. And we are now going for lunch. So this is our table, and this is our view. How incredible is that? And here's the rest of our group just here. Let's see what the menu is. Oh, leek and potato soup, I love that. Grilled vegetables, chicken breast with island spices. I might try that, you know. Yes. Liam and I have just Try the soup, it's like the best. Thank you so much. This is the best leek and potato soup. It's so nice. We both were like, oh my god, so nice. So nice. Why do you say it's nice? Why do you say it's nice? It is, it's so nice. It's like wedding level soup. Like, wedding soup is always like good soup. Don't you think? At weddings, you get good soup. It's a horrible angle. It's a wedding soup. Yeah, I'd say it's better than a wedding suit, which is saying a lot. Chicken? Oh yes, that's me. Thank you so much. That looks lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you've got the fish. That's good. So I went for the mango mousse cake. Did you go for that as well, babe? I did, Oh yeah, do the taste test. Here we go. Out of ten. What's that out of ten? Eight or nine, solid. Down from the restaurant now. I don't know if you can see in the water, but there's loads and loads of little, tiny little fish. Is that picking up? I hope so. So cute. Look at them. Yeah, 
the boat can't fit through that gap. Can't see it now. Are they gonna try and do it? <laughs> you can see I'm back on I was gonna say back on dry land but I'm absolutely not on back on dry land I'm back in the cabin um, last I think I vlogged was on the speedboat the speedboat got even speedier and I couldn't get my camera out because I was like it was so speedy that my earrings were like and my sunglasses and my eyes were streaming I think you can still yeah <laughs> my eyes are like, um, so I thought you know what I'm just gonna leave leave my camera and leave my tech in my handbag and just hold on for dear life. We've got back, I've had a bower, that's a body shower, um, hair and face still very hot. Um, Liam's gone for dinner with the group, they've gone to the Keelan Cow which specialises in like steak and burgers. Steak and burgers isn't really my thing, I say I'm a vegetarian but I'm not really, I've had a lot of chicken on this trip but mostly I'm like a, what's it called if you're a white meatitarian? a lot of chicken and some fish and occasionally a bit of bacon here and there anyway i've gone off piste i've ordered room service um so a little have a little look out there the sun has probably just set um so i'm gonna have some room service in my snazzy little gym jams let me show you i'm not really sure why i've tucked them in <laughs> they just got tucked in there we go um i'm going to have some room service we had got things booked, uh, like tickets booked for the show tonight at the Headliners Theatre, which was Greatest Days, but one of the performers is ill, <clears throat> they did a tannoy, so it's going to be something else. So I don't know if everyone's going to go or not, but if they are, and Liam will find out at dinner, I'll zhuzh myself up and get down there and go and watch it, because we haven't watched any evening entertainment, I would like to show you, so if we're doing that, we'll go. If not, nice early night, because tomorrow is the big day. So I've joined Liam for dessert, they're on their dessert course and I'm having sticky toffee pudding with I hope this is custard but maybe it's cream. Oh, this does not look like the night before does it? No it does not. Um, it's the next morning and I didn't end the vlog last night. I think we had some dessert, I think I filmed the dessert and then we didn't go and see any entertainment. We actually went and had a look around the shops um, but it was really busy so I didn't want to film too much in there. Um, so this is the end of that vlog. <laughs> I just thought I'd give it a nice ending so when I edit it, it all makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. I'm now going to start the next vlog, which is a really big special day for Alvia. It's the naming ceremony. I'm going to make a whole vlog dedicated to that. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed and I look forward to seeing you there.